Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. Um, so it, it's really the same old song and dance. The bulls are just skipping it through the uh, the graveyard, no worries at all. Um, I am I'm starting to hear a few people uh, on, you know, the talking head saying that we, the market is way ahead of itself. Um, but that's only a, a few that have come on. I'm seeing more coming on saying that we're, you know, this is the start of the new bull market and you got to jump in and just buy because the market's telling you to. And a, as I said, the last time I really heard those kind of words were in this area here when everybody's saying the pain trade is is being short. And then we ended up crashing down. Um, they have no idea what they're talking about. Um, I, and, you know, we, like I've said, I, we, I've been we've been wrong on this uh, really towards the end of May uh, is when when things kind of went sour for us. But um, it, it, it you know, it is what it is. We're, we're going to get losses. They, I just don't really like being in them. I think that things are going to come back down again and we will. Uh, be able to exit these positions with probably sm a lot smaller gains than what I thought they were going to be, but probably gains or break even. So that's why I'm just kind of being patient right now. Um, I, it is frustrating. I, I won't. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to sit there and say it's not. Uh, it is. But you know, as I as I said, we're you know we're, we're up so many points. Uh, you know, th this is really the first trade that we've been caught on our heels in in over two years. So. Um, you know, things will go our way here. It, it's a, just a matter of not if, but when, because, you know, as I said, as far as an excuse, the market's going up, period. So that's that. But as far as the, you know, just reasons for it and what the anticipation is moving forward, uh, you know, I mean, everything that I'm, I'm gauging and who I read as far as on the fundamental end of things they don't. They don't think we're, you know, going anywhere as far as an economy and, uh, you know, in the the odds of World War Three starting within the next year are are very very likely. So, you know, I'm not really quite sure what what everybody is all bold up about, but you know, that that's just going to be something that I'll be, you know, thinking about for for a while. But it's it is what it is. What we do know, we have bearish divergences on the daily chart. Uh, just a 50% retracement brings us down to 4170. Me personally, I think we're coming down and doing the 4075, uh, th say 3950 uh, area. These these would make the most sense. But that first thing we need to do, the bears need to get it through this uh, 4450 and the the 4321. This is where you start seeing downside momentum really pick up. Now, short term, uh, you know, what we're looking at is that there's really no support. I mean, maybe you're going to count this little three point pullback uh, at a support level. But, I, you know, to me, it, this is really the next support level. It's 4450. So that's 120 points below where we are right now. And we haven't had, you know, the, the only really big break we've had like that was this one right here. And it, it's it, if we come down here, you know, because the, the 200 day moving average is going to be moving here. And if we, we take this out, that's where we start seeing a little bit of panic. But, you know, for right now, you know, we, we have bearish divergences on the daily chart. We have them on the 60 minute chart and we have them on the 15 minute chart. So, I mean, they can, you know, run around and, and, and say that we're in a new bull market and maybe down the road we are. But the thing is, we're still going to have a two, three, four hundred point drop before that bull market starts up again. And and that's, you know, it's more just a patience game right now. And it's, a, you know, it's frustrating because, like, like I said, you, you try to try to put a rhyme and reason to it. And, and you can't because, you know, as I said, the Fed is still it, it's big. Then he, he's going to be. And, and this is one of the things that, you know, I hear and I kind of chuckle. Uh, is that people say that, you know, a quarter point uh, rate hike is already baked into the market. It's like, how is it baked into the market when we're trading, you know, less than 5% to the all-time highs? I, I don't, it makes no sense to me. Now, if we were trading down here or down here, and then I would say, yeah, it's baked in. But it, it can't get baked in when you're going straight up. So I don't, you know, I, I think that's just another pipe dream that the, that the, fucking head bulls are, are trying to lean on. I think they're wrong. Another thing that we hear all the time is this, you know, all this cash on the on the sidelines. And 
you know, if I haven't been hearing that for 10 years, I, I mean, I, I think that would be, I, I'd be lying. It's probably longer than that because that's their, their go-to, you know, the slogan is all the money on the sidelines. And the thing is that money's probably never coming into the market. I, you know, I don't know why you're banking on it coming in, but you know, it's not. So, you know, anyway, so we had a little bit of selling towards the end of the day. Uh, not, not a whole lot. We still ended up plus 10. You know, if the bulls can get above these levels here, the, the highs, then really, you know, the next, we're, we're looking right around that 49. Uh, let me go to the daily chart. So, you know, we, we have this resistance that's right around that 45.91. We have this resistance at, yeah, right around that. It's the same thing, 45.91. Uh, and, and that's, you know, then 45, 44, which are already above. So, you know, the, if the bulls keep going higher, these are probably the next targets. Um, again, I, I would just be shaking my head saying, you know, what what is their rhyme and reason for it? But, you know, this is what it is. Uh, on the downside, you know, we won't see momentum really pick up until – if we could even go to the 15 minute chart on this. So the first support area is going to be the 4558. If they get below it, this should be a magnet down to this uh, 4509 of uh, 4520, 4520, 4509. Below here, now we start closing some of these gaps. And, and that's another reason why, you know, I, I, I not, you know, even though this thing is going higher, I, I know we're not in a bull market. And we have so many gaps below here that, you know, have a really good shot of getting filled in a very fast manner. And and that's why, you know, I don't know what the catalyst is going to be, but something will come out. And, uh, you know, maybe it's the Fed and they do 50 basis points because they want to put some water or ice on, on this, you know, on the market because they don't really want this going. Because any kind of wealth effect that takes place here. Uh, it, it's going to turn into more inflation. So that they don't want this. And, and as I said, it, this is what the bulls are fighting. They are fighting the Fed. They're, they're winning right now. But, uh, you know, I, I don't think they're going to win for all that long. So let's see what plays out tomorrow. Have a great night. And I'll talk to you guys in the morning.